Happy Friday. My name is uh, Craig Shuttler. I'm the master mixologist for MGM Resorts. But first and foremost, I hope everyone is healthy and safe. I'm inviting you to join me today for happy hour. I'm gonna show you how to make the 19th hole cocktail. So let's get started. For those of you who are golf um, fans, the, the 19th hole is what we refer to as the bar and the clubhouse after the round of golf. It's a very social environment with your foursome that you play with or other friends around. Unfortunately, those times have been put on hold, but we can't wait to get back to them and, and enjoy a lovely round of golf. One of the most legendary golf professionals that have ever played the game goes by the name of Arnold Palmer. You're probably familiar with a non-alcoholic drink um, named after him where it's equal parts iced tea and lemonade. So what we're gonna do for this cocktail is we actually created an Arnold Palmer ice cube. So I took an ice cube tray, I filled the bottom with iced tea, put it back in the freezer, let it freeze, then poured on top lemonade. So now as our cocktail dilutes, it will melt with the flavors of an Arnold Palmer as opposed to just the flavors of water in a normal ice cube. So the base of the cocktail we're gonna take is uh, two ounces of vodka. For our sweetener, we're going to use agave nectar. Um, it's a healthier alternative for sugar, um, but if you have simple syrup or uh, if you can take white refined sugar and water, equal parts, and make your own simple syrup, um, I'm just gonna use agave nectar because I had it lying around the house. And then I'm gonna take the juice of one half of a lemon. Um, always try and use fresh produce as much as you can. So the fresh juices will, will be a game changer when it comes to the quality and the flavor of the cocktail. So we're gonna juice half the lemon. I'm gonna give it a shake. We are going to do what's called double straining. So we're gonna use a tea strainer just so we can uh, strain out any other particles from the fresh lemon that we juiced in and any other ice chips that may have broken up while we shook the cocktail. I'm gonna garnish it with the lemon wheel. Just cut a little slit on the side of the lemon so it fits on the glass. For the moment, we all may be at home, but can't wait to see you on the Las Vegas Strip soon. Cheers.